Hi guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we're about to head into CVS and check out some deals. I have not looked at all my CRTs on my CVS app yet, but I did get a couple of email coupons. So I checked my email yesterday and I had a $10 off of a L'Oreal item. So I'm gonna check the price on those, see if I can make something work with that. I think I got a seven off 70 and a $4 off a of purchase coupon. So anyways, I mean, that just, that's awesome. So I don't always get email coupons, so I'm pretty excited about that. So check your emails and see if you got any good coupons. But we're gonna see what all we can pick up this week. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones. Let's go ahead, let's get in here, let's pick up these deals. And also, if you are a Walgreens shopper, I did a Walgreens haul just a little bit ago and oh my gosh, it was such a good deal. So make sure to check out that video too. Now let's go check out CBS. <laughs> Right, guys so the first deal we're picking up is buy one l'oreal revita lift or the age perfect serums and you get a ten dollar extra buck so this one right here that i have picked up is 3149 it is a serum and it's the revita lift um i have a few different coupons for this you guys i got a ten dollar coupon in my email so when i clicked on it on the email it clipped it to my account i also have a five dollar manufacturer digital coupon and i have a six dollar off a thirty dollar purchase for l'oreal products so that's gonna get me down to 1049 with those three coupons and then we're getting back a ten dollar extra buck so it's gonna make it just 49 cents for this so I was going to do a CoverGirl deal today, but check this out, you guys. It says excludes Cheekers Blush, Eye Enhancers, Brow, and Eye Makers. Now, I don't know if that means the little brow pencils. You guys let me know, but it says that foundation, powder, blush, concealer, eye, or lip products are included. Um, so I'm not going to be picking up this deal this week. As you can see, these right here are the eye enhancers, so those are excluded. That's one of the cheapest options. The eye pencils, um, the eyebrow pencils, those are normally our cheapest option um so that's normally what i would pick up but i'm not going to pick it up today just on the chance that it doesn't work for the extra buck um one of the options probably the cheapest options for you guys would be a few of the foundations are priced at 6.99 each so if you do want to grab a couple of those they're right down here and we did get new three dollar coupons in today's inserts so you could grab a couple of the 6.99 products use a couple of three dollar coupons and you would get back a five dollar extra buck so so that is probably the best option, but if you get the brow pencil, let me know if it works. So next up, if you want some of the Old Spice, this one, it's two for 17, you get back a $4 extra buck. So this one right here in particular, the Lavender and Mint Scent, it does have a $2 I bought a rebate. So for example, you would get a $4 extra buck back on this, even if you have no coupons, um, that would get you down to $13, but then you could get $2 each on I bought a. Um, so it would put you at $9 for two of those. Next up, we're gonna grab this deal on Whole Blends. This one's a pretty good deal. They're two for $8. We have a $3 digital coupon, and we also have a $2 off of any uh, Garnier and Whole Blends products. So that's $5 off. So you're gonna pay $3, but get back a $2 extra buck. It's gonna make your final cost just $1 for two of the Whole Blends. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two. The next deal I'm picking up is on Con Air products. So you have to get one that's $18.79 or higher to earn back a $7 extra buck this week. So not the cheapest deal ever, but we kind of need a new hair dryer. So I'm gonna grab this one for $20.99 and I'm gonna get back $7 in an extra care buck, making it $13.99 for me. Now I also got a CRT this week for $4 off of any purchase. So really something like that can help lower your cost as well and make this you know $10 or less if you have a coupon like that to use on it. The next deal I'm gonna pick up, actually you guys, I may not pick this one up. So the Kleenex is two for 450 and we get back a $1 extra buck. So it's gonna make it two for 350. But I mean, it's not the cheapest deal ever on the Kleenex and it is these smaller boxes. So I may not get it. So it does look like these boxes are included in it as well, or they are tagged. So maybe an okay deal if you need Kleenex. 
Next, I'm gonna pick up two of the General Mills cereals. This is gonna total me $3.98 because they're $1.99 each this week. So I'm gonna use a dollar off two digital, pay $2.98, but get 50 cents back on each on Ibotta. It's gonna make it $1.98 for both. The next deal we're doing is the spin 25, get an $8 extra buck. So the first item that I'm gonna pick up for this, there's several different items included, you guys. So you can really, you know, mix and match your deals, but I'm gonna grab this Mr. Clean Clean Freak. These are buy one, get one 50% off. They're $7.99. And we also have a digital coupon for $3.25 off on this. So that's a pretty good savings. Um, I'm also going to grab one of these Febreze fabric sprays for this scenario. It is $7.49, so we're going to grab one, and we have a $2.30 digital coupon for this one. Next, you could grab one of the Gain for $5.49, and we have a $1 digital coupon for this one. And we also have the Tide Pods. They are also $5.49 this week, and we have a $1 digital for this one as well. So our total for all these items is actually $30.89, so we're over, I'm sorry, $30.39, so that's over the $25 mark we need to be. We're going to use the $3.25 off digital for Mr. Clean, $2.30 for the Febreze, and then a dollar each on the laundry products. We'll pay $22.84, but get an $8 extra buck, making it $14.84 for all of these items. So guys, I thought my store was out of the Gain Flings in the container, but I just found them. So I'm gonna switch out the Febreze and show you guys another scenario for this one. So let's go ahead and grab something. Okay guys, so I put back the Febreze, the other laundry products. We've got two Mr. Clean and one of these Gain Flings, the big one. So all of this totals $24.97. If your store follows the 98% rule, we're at 98% of $25. We have a $3 digital for gain and a $3.25 for the Mr. Clean. So we're gonna pay $18.72, but we're gonna get back an $8 extra buck, making it $10.72 for all three of these. So guys, I have a seven off 70 CRT I wanna use as well as a $4 off one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some of this pink stuff. They're buy one, get one 50% off. We don't always get deals on this and I've never tried the sprays, just the little paste stuff. So I'm gonna grab these two and it's gonna total me $11.98 and we don't have any coupons for these. All right, guys, so this is how my cart is looking. I'm gonna use a seven off 70 CRT, a $4 off of my purchase CRT, plus all the other coupons that we talked about. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out. We'll go over the receipt once we get home. So guys, I'm at self-checkout. I'm trying it. I'm not using any paper coupons today. Okay, so now it's just asking me to go ahead and say yes about every single extra buck I want to use and all that good stuff. So if you have like, you saw the little couple of cents one, all of that. So you're just like, yes, yes, yes. I want to use all these coupons and you can see everything coming off. So we're going to see how low our total gets. We were over a hundred dollars before we started clipping the coupons. So yeah. Scan coupon now. All right, and that's Touch including my tax. So guys, I went ahead and was looking through here just to make sure it Scan looks like everything now. came off as far Touch as I could tell. So we'll go over the receipt finished. as soon as we get back to the house. Your total is 33. All right, guys, so we're back in the car from CVS. The transaction went well. As you guys saw there in the store, I used CVS self-checkout. I never use their self-checkout here. I use self-checkout at pretty much every other store that has it, but um, here I tried it once and then it was kind of, you know, didn't work out. Some of you guys left tips and everything in the comments. So today I didn't have any paper coupons. It was all digital. So I figured, you know, a good day to try it out. And it only called over the cashier like once, like once I hit pay. Um, it was just I don't know. It was weird. Anyways, there wasn't really any reason for it. So she came over, hit a button on there, and then it went ahead and let me go through. So I, of course, I had to click, you know, each coupon that I was using, all of that good stuff. But otherwise, I think everything, you know, came off. It seemed pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go home. We're going to look over the receipt, talk final cost of all of our items, see how much all of this cost us today. But overall, I feel pretty good about the haul. I got a hair dryer, which we only have one hair dryer. So um, I think we've had it for years. So I think it's starting to kind of go out a little because when Chloe blow dries her hair, it takes quite a while 
so yeah I think that she'll be happy to see that I got a new one so we can test it out it says turbo on it or something maybe it dries your hair faster I don't know but anyways let's head home and look over this receipt all right guys so I am back home and this is my CVS haul for this week we're gonna go over the receipt and talk final cost of all of our items so you can see right here on my receipt all of the items think everything rang up correctly so we're going to go ahead and start looking at our coupons we had our digital coupons three dollars off of gain a dollar off of the cereal five dollars off of l'oreal a three dollar off of garnier and then 325 off of the two mr clean products then we had our cvs coupons ten dollars off of l'oreal a seven dollar off a of seventy dollar purchase $6 off of a $30 purchase, and you can use those together as long as you have met the amount for both of them. So on this right here, you know, you've met 70, you've met 30, so then you can use both together. Now I had a $4 off my entire purchase and it didn't require me to spend a certain amount for that one. So that one came off as well. I had my $2 off of two select hair care products, which was the Garnier and the Whole Blends. Um, then I had my $10 care pass, which if you're not familiar with care pass, you pay $5 a month for that, but you get a $10 extra buck. So I'll subtract that here in a little bit, but we have that. And then all the rest was just my regular extra care bucks that I earned last week. So I ended up paying $26.89 plus tax out of pocket on this. And then I got back several extra care bucks, which we'll go over that here in just a second. But let's go ahead and add back in the extra bucks I used. So I was at $26.89, but I used $29.97 in extra care bucks. So I was really at $56.86, okay? Now on this, I did get back these extra care bucks, an $8 one for the Spin 25 deal, a $10 one for the L'Oreal, $2 for the Whole Blends, and then $7 back for the Con Air, Con Air hair dryer. So with all those extra bucks that I got back, that was a total of $27 back. So that would bring me to $29.86, but I'm gonna subtract $5 for the care pass because I only paid $5 for that, but they give you a $10 one. So that would get us down to $24.86 for all of these products right here. But I'm also submitting to Ibotta for $1 back because we're getting back 50 cents per box of cereal here. So my final cost for everything right here today was $23.86, and that's for 11 items. So it averages out to around $2.16 per item, which honestly I think is pretty good for this haul because the pink stuff, that's not something that we normally get an extra buck deal on, so I was happy to get that. The hair dryer is normally $20 by itself, and that's something that we needed, so I wanted to incorporate it into my deals today. And then the L'Oreal right here, normally $31 just by itself. So we had a huge savings, even though it's a little higher than, you know, what I would normally pay. You can get your out-of-pocket costs very, very low at CVS, but I used all the extra bucks that I had today to pay down my cost. So if you have like a CVS gift card or something, you could use that to make it lower. But overall, $23.86 for all of these items I don't think was too bad. So let me know in the comments below what's your favorite deal that I picked up this week and which deal are you hoping to pick up this week. And don't forget to grab your free printable list as well as all your money-saving apps in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, I want to let you know if you want to check out my home channel at Home with Kayla, I do have a new video up on that channel as well. That I posted just a couple of days ago if you missed it. So yeah, that's all I got for today. Let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.